Welcome to the Ninja X Show. Today's topic, SJW critics defend James Gunn. Isn't this interesting? You would think that SJW critics would avoid defending a sex predator. But when it comes to Marvel and Disney, they white knight for James Gunn. It's pathetic, but then again, SJW critics are always pathetic. Whether it's Lindsay Ellis, Ashley Lynch, or Patton Oswalt, they're all pathetic because of the things they say and do. All of these SJW critics I mentioned has defended James Gunn. Why? Because they're Disney and Marvel fans. They're biased. And when they feel a Marvel or a Disney movie might suffer at the box office due to controversy, they will try whatever they can to save it. So this is their way of doing damage control. Thing is, you can't control the damage that James Gunn created for himself. It's already public knowledge of the things he has said on his Twitter. There is no going back. Disney has already fired him. They fired him because Disney has this family-friendly image to protect. Even though everybody already knows that pedophiles and sex predators had worked for Disney. Everybody knows that Disney is evil and that they use subliminal messages in their movies. So what's the point? Well, obviously Disney had no choice, and despite what people already know, Disney does have a family-friendly image to protect. So firing James Gunn was a great idea. With that said, I find it hypocritical for SGWs to defend James Gunn, since they're using the excuse that what he had said was in the past and that people should move on. Yet they attack Trump for the things he has said in his past. I'm no fan of Trump by any means, but I acknowledge how much of a hypocrite SJWs are. They are so ready to crucify Trump for the things he has said in his past, yet they won't crucify James Gunn in the same manner. Why? It's probably because James Gunn is a liberal. Or maybe James Gunn is a director of a Marvel property and that him getting fired could potentially damage the box office numbers to Galaxy of the Guardians 3. SJWs are very protective of Disney and Marvel, yet they bash Warner Brothers and DC Comics. You see, you can't trust these SJW critics. They have no integrity. They are full of shit. They are biased. Why should anyone trust a critic who defends a pedophile? It makes no sense to me. With that said, I suggest everyone to avoid these critics like the plague. There's no need to have them make any money on the ads that they run on their videos. That's all I have to say. Tune in next time for more truth, logic, and common sense.